I am Satish Gaidankar. Today I am teaching you about the control engineering in the control engineering root locus. This is the problem they are given it. Sketch the root locus of the root locus plot of unity feedback with a open loop transfer function g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 2 into s plus 4. Find the value of k. It is given in video 2013 December and Jan 1340. For 20 marks. Solution. First you have to find the number of poles. Number of poles. How many number of poles are there? 1. This S is equal to 0. S is equal to minus 2. S is equal to minus 3. P is equal to 3 poles. Where S is nothing but 0. Minus 2. Minus 4. In this way. S is equal to 0. S is equal to minus 2. S yes, is equal to minus 4. There are 3 poles. The number of zeros. Number of zeros. There is no zero here. The first set is equal to zero. Next, number of branches. Number of branches. Therefore, P is greater than Z. Therefore, P is equal to N. It is 3. Number of branches terminating at infinity. Number of branches terminating at infinity. At infinity. Formula will be P minus Z. P is equal to 3. Z is 0. Therefore, 3. Fifth point, root locus is symmetry about the real axis. Root locus is symmetric or symmetrical about real axis. Real axis. Sixth point, root locus is present on the real axis. Present on real axis. Seventh point angle of asymptotes. Asymptotes. What is the formula for finding the angle of asymptotes? Theta k is equal to 2k plus 1 into 180 divided by p minus z, where p is nothing but sorry, where k is nothing but 0, 1, 2. 3 and so on up to p minus z minus 1. The p is nothing but 3, z is 0, minus 1 is nothing but 2. The k value should be up to 2, 0, 1 and 2. Now substitute k, 0, 2 into 0, plus 1 into 180, divided by 3 is nothing but 60. Theta 1 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1, 180 divided by 3 is nothing but 180. Theta 2 is nothing but 2 into 2, 2 into 2 plus 1, 180 divided by 3 is nothing but 300. Next you have to find out the centroid. Centroid. What is the formula for centroid? Sigma is equal to summation of P minus summation of Z divided by P minus Z. Summation of P is nothing but these values. That means minus 0, sorry, 0, minus 2, minus 4, and 0. Z will be 0. Divided by P is nothing but 3 minus 0. Z is 0. The answer for this one is minus 2. Minus 2. Centered is the minus 2. Next, you have to point out the breaking point. Uh, breakaway point. 90 is the breakaway point. Breakaway point. We call as a BAP. Breakaway point. And we have to consider the equation. Consider the characteristic equation. Equation. That is 1 plus G of S into H of S is equal to 0. 1 plus 
g of s and h of s is nothing but h of s is nothing but theta unity 1 okay you have to write this one g over 5 yes because they have already said that unity feedback therefore h of s is equal to 1 k is equal to s plus 2 s plus 4 this value I have written here is equal to 0 and this can be written as what yes s plus 2 s plus 4 plus k is equal to 0 and now multiply these two yes will be okay I will tag directly after multiplication you will obtain the expression as s q plus 6 x square plus 8s plus k is equal to 0. Now you have to write the k. I will consider here. k is equal to minus s q plus 6s square plus 8s. Now dk by ds you have to do is equal to 0. Differentiate this one. I will neglect the minus sign. If you consider the minus sign, there is no problem. You will arrive the same answer. 3 sq square plus 12 yes plus 8 differentiate you have to differentiate and now find out the root find the roots of this equation it will be s is equal to minus 0.845 comma minus 3.154 we'll take one more paper here after getting the root you have to find out uh, crossover point on the imaginary axis. Tenth point is cross over point of the root locus locus with the imaginary axis axis. For this one, you have to use the RH, RH criteria or root theorem. The name is same. For this one, you have to consider the expression. You have to consider this. The k has to present. Write down here s cube plus 6s square plus 8s plus k is equal to 0. Now, this can be written as well. s is cube s square yes yes no 1 6 8 k cross multiply this and this 6 into 8 minus k divided by 6 answer will be 48 minus k divided by 6 48 minus k divided by 6 and this one will be 0 if you multiply again and this and this it will be k now find out the k value this is required for finding the k value. 48 minus k divided by 6 less than greater than or equal to 0. And uh, 48 minus k is equal to 0. Minus k is equal to minus 48. The k will be 48. Next, for consider the square term. It is indicated where the imaginary axis cut axis this becomes what 6 x square plus k is equal to 0 6 s square plus 48 is equal to 0 if you find the s you will get plus or minus 2.828 j 8.2.828 j now we'll go photograph and run the graph now I will consider the scale 1 is to 1. Scale is 1 is to 1. This is the imaginary axis, GW. Real axis, sigma. Real axis. Sigma
now number of poles you have to indicate number of poles here number of poles first is zero okay first i will go for marking minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five next here plus one j plus two j plus three j next minus one j minus two j minus three j number of poles this is zero first is zero next is two mark it of two mark it two and third is one four now find out the root root locus here first i will consider this one as i consider this part there is a odd pole here therefore in between the root locus exist now if you consider this part if you hide this x mark and if you count it there are two poles therefore here the no root locus will exit there is no root locus will exist now assume it there is a one more pole at infinite then the root locus will exist here right point because there is a odd number three if you count here there will be three poles one two three therefore you can draw the root locus here there is no root locus can be drawn from here this is the uh, rule of the root locus next find out the centroid first value for centroid 2 is the centroid here 2 this is the 2 is the centroid sigma is equal to minus 2 what about the angles angle of SM2 60 degree 60 degree you have to draw it from the 2 60 degree 60 degree degree next is about 180 60 180 in this direction it is 180 next is 300 300 is a thing but uh, you have to do 300 minus 180 120 300 minus 4 180 if you get 120 120 is this direction. This is 180 and next is 300. Angle, but you are right in here. Infinite. You can mention the angle. The next curve we can write in for it. Okay, ready to do problem. <coughs> okay. Next is about uh, breakaway point. You have to measure the breakaway point. Now the breakaway points. There are two points: minus 0.845 and minus 3.14. Here, here, approximate it lies here. This is nothing but breakaway point. BAP is nothing but minus 0.845 what about this one 3 it doesn't exist here this is nothing but nrl no root locus exist we can call as no root locus here therefore this has to be neglected now next is imaginary part where the imaginary axis is cut you have to see from this part plus or minus 2.828 plus or minus 2.828 means approximately here one more approximately and draw the infinitely infinitely this is your right infinite arrow is up because the breakaway points exist between the two poles therefore arrow should be towards and this will be a pole and the k is nothing but k is equal to 48 you have to write breakaway point is 0 0.847 in this way 
you have to write. I am Sudhish Vaidankar. Thank you very much.